physical contact, and we will wither and die just as surely as if we were deprived of food. Got it. That's why we hear stories of children in orphanages and other parts of the world who grow sickly and weak despite being adequately fed and clothed. Bummer. People with autism may desire emotional and physical contact, but can languish because they're hindered by their lack of social skills. And how often have you heard about one spouse in a 50-year marriage who, despite being medically healthy, dies a few short months or even weeks after the death of the other spouse? Food and shelter aren't enough. We need each other, and we need love. Food and shelter aren't enough. We need each other, we need love. We need each other, and we need love. So food and shelter is not enough. This just right isn't enough. We need food. We need food and what? And love. And love is there. not enough. Is not enough. Okay, here we go. Well, but it's not face enough. to face. It just got a short Far time. Enough. Even a week. A healthy dies a few short months or even weeks after the death of the other spouse. Food and shelter aren't enough. We need each other. And we need love. Oh. Face to face. Man, we you said food. You said food, dude. We need each other. And he we said need, love. need food and we need love. Yeah, but That's he, exactly what he, he said. He said we need each other. We need food and we need love. No, he That's didn't exactly. say that. Yes, he did. Oh, dude, okay. I'm telling he you. He said we need each other. We're bringing people together. And we want to Okay. Food and shelter aren't enough. We need each other. Aren't we enough. No, nah, isn't enough. No, I said I was going to write that. And we need enough. Okay. okay. So I'll, I'll change it. You. But can languish because they're hindered by their the lack of social skills. All right. And how often have you heard about a spouse in a 50-year marriage who, despite being medically healthy, dies a few short months or even weeks Food after the death of the other spouse? We need each other. Food and shelter aren't enough. We need each other. And we need love. Got it? Food and shelter aren't enough. We need each other. And we're not love. No, and we need love. And we're not in love. Where do you get that, dude? Why are you said? all recording and everything like that, dude? Keep I'm it steady, dude. You I'm telling you, it. that's exactly what I just other. said. We need love. No, it's not what he said. All right. We don't need love. If it's wrong, I'll change it. What do you mean we don't need love? Do we need love? That's what he said at the end. You don't need love? Face to face. Okay. Face. Delta, our spouse, or even being married. 50 years ago. And how often have you heard about one spouse in a 50-year marriage who, despite being medically healthy, dies a few short months or even weeks after the death of the other spouse? Food and shelter aren't enough. We need each other. And we need love. And we need love. And we need love. All right. <laughs> hey, man, hey, I'll get it just the way we need to do it, bro. You know what I'm saying? I stick by the rules. And... We need love. There you go, dude. You know what I'm saying? Hey, it'll take ten times. Here we go. Love. Alright, let's move on, man. Face to face. The internet has been touted as the ultimate tool for bringing people together into shared communities of interest. Face to face. And it's true if you're searching yeah, for right. other teddy bear collectors in Toledo or mud wrestlers in Minsk. You may find them on the web. For people who are housebound because of disabilities or illness, the web can also be a godsend. Still, we have to remember that spending hours in front of a screen typing into cyberspace is a poor The web can be a godsend, but it can get you in trouble too. By face -to -face time with another person. You got me in trouble. You might well meet someone in a chat room and be interested to remind yeah. you. Well, would you agree to marry before meeting a few times in person? You need to be in a person's presence for a while in order to pick up all the verbal and non-verbal cues. That's it. I like that. You need to be in the presence of her for a while. The atmosphere created by yeah, physical I mean and mental presence <laughs> is as important as surface attraction, if not more so. For example, what sort of environment do the two of you create? 
How spontaneous are you? How strong is your need for conversation? No, actually, I... I what about your... We have to also, do that. Presence. You have to be in the presence of someone. We have to remember that spending hours in front of a screen typing into cyberspace is a poor substitute for the full spectrum of experience offered by face-to-face -face time with another person. You might well meet someone in a chat room who interests you romantically, but would you agree to marry before meeting a few times in person? No way! You need to be in a person's presence for... Okay, you need to be in a person's presence for a while. Okay, you need to be in a person's presence for a while. Repeat that. You need to be in a person's presence for a while. Perfect. Remember that so I don't forget. I you will. need to be in a person's, person's presence for a while. Nice. Okay, that's the best. Wow. In order to pick up all the verbal and not... In order to pick up all the verbal... In order to pick up all the verbal... Repeat that. In order to pick up all the verbal... Verbal cues. And not verbal, verbal cues. And not verbal cues. And none. Okay, my time's up. What? What you said. What did I say? You said 320, yeah, five minute break. Well, that you remember, but you can't remember what we're working on. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, it's a break. Oh, the break could be in an hour and a half, and 90 minutes later, you'd be like, hey, man, where's my break?